So today we're going to learn about the sum of angle measurements at a point is equal to 360 degrees. And for some of you, you already know this. You might not know this about math, but you already know this. So here's my point. All the angle measures around that point are equal to 360 degrees. For those of you who like skateboarding or snowboarding and you've done a jump that's been 360 degrees, you know that that's one time around. We already know that our line segment is equal to 180 degrees. So this is 180 from here to here, 180. And on the other side, it's the same thing, 180 from here to here. And when I add up 180 degrees plus 180 degrees, I get 360. So around one point is 360 degrees. So today we're going to use that fact to find some missing angle measures, kind of like we did yesterday with our 180 degree rule. So here we go. If I have a point here, we'll call this point A, and then some line segments come in contact with A. and I'll label these points. B, C, D, and E. So if these are my line segments, I know, because I'm gonna draw a little block, block here, that this is equal to 90 degrees. I also know that this is equal to 90 degrees because these are perpendicular lines. Line A, C, here's A, here's C, is perpendicular to line segment A, B. They meet here at a 90 degree angle. So we have one 90 degree angle, another 90 degree angle, and then we have angle E, A, D, which equals 35 degrees. And there is one missing angle measure from here all the way over here. Now there are two ways I can figure this out. I can use it like last time, and because I know that this is a straight line, from here to here, I can, I can do what I learned yesterday. I can do 180 minus 35. That's tomorrow. 10 minus five is five, and seven minus three is four. One minus nothing is one. 145 degrees. So this angle measures 145 degrees. There is another way I can find out that information though. Because I know that there are a total of 360 degrees in a whole circle. I can add up all of these measurements and then subtract from 360. And again, I'm gonna make a bar model like we did yesterday. So here's my entire bar. And I know that there are 360 degrees total my bar from here all the way to here 360. I also know that I have a 90 degree, a 90 degree, a 35 degree, a little tiny 35, and then my missing one over here. So if I'm going to figure that out I have to add up 90 plus 90 plus 35 and then subtract it from 360. So that's what I'm going to do now. 90 90, 35. And zeros plus five is five. Nine plus nine is 18. Plus three is 21. That's 215 degrees. From here all the way over to here, 215. So now I need to subtract 360 from 215 to figure out my missing angle measure. Ready? Here we go. Again, I have to borrow. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. 145 degrees, which is the same number I got right over here. Awesome. 145 degrees. It works. So I know what you're thinking, Mr. Fritzke. Why would I ever do that much work when I can just subtract from 180 degrees? I'll explain.
Here we have several different angles. I'll make this one a little bit more interesting. So we know that angle CAT over here is equal to, we'll say 125 degrees. And I know that angle DAT over here is equal to 115 degrees. Now I'm asking you what angle DAC is, DAC. This is my question mark. There are no straight lines here. There are There is no opportunity for 180 degrees. It doesn't work. I have to use my 360 rule. I hope you didn't forget. I know that all the angle measures in a circle are equal to 360 degrees. So I'm going to make my bar model for that right over here. 360. I know that one angle measure is equal to 125. I know another angle measure is equal to 115. And I know that I have to figure out the missing angle measure right over here. So in order to do that, I of course need to first add up what I already have and then subtract by 360. So here we go. 125, 115, and I'm going to add them together because that would give me this total angle over here. 125 plus 115 is 240 degrees. So this equals 240. So I know that the whole thing is 360. I know that this piece is 240, and I'm looking for this missing piece right over here. So in order to figure that out, I have to subtract 360 and 240. Here we go. I'm coming way over to the other side. Zero minus zero is zero. No borrowing, yes. Six minus four is two. Three minus two is one. 120 degrees. That is how we figure out a missing angle measure if we know that there are 360 degrees around one point. Good luck with your homework, folks. Go get them.